Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can do some simple analysis in the uh, uh, structural analysis uh, workbench in KTAV5. So here we have some part being created and uh, <coughs> I'm going to show you I have arranged uh, the different toolbars on the top so you can arrange it the same way. So I've arranged it uh, so that you can find the different names of the toolbar and it doesn't it, it actually avoids the confusions. All right and let's just uh, go ahead and we're going to insert four things so one is a surface slider okay let's just uh, firstly begin with the uh, surface slider alright so here we have the surface slider which is in the restraints so once you apply the surface slider what happens is it can always only that particular part or that particular face can only slide along the tangential planes so I'll just apply the surface slider here and I'll click on OK and the next thing you're going to apply is uh, the distributed load and I'll just select the distributed load and I'll select the face so in this case it's a 500 Newton so if this was uh, not negative it would have been upwards so make sure that it is negative so this this actually uh, would give you a basic idea of how the analysis is gonna be alright <coughs> and the next thing what I would do is uh, I would go for the the virtual yeah the smooth virtual part so I'm gonna select the smooth virtual part so before that I'll just click on OK here I'll go for the smooth virtual part and I'll select this particular cylinder click OK I'll go for this once again alright and then I'm gonna restrain this particular option here uh, with the restraints toolbar I'll go for the user defined restraints and I'm gonna select this and I'm going to restrain that uh, I'll just go for restraining this and I'll restrain this particular uh, the x-axis in the x-axis only in the x-axis it can actually uh, do the uh, motion alright <coughs> I'll click OK and I'll do the same thing on this particular part 2 alright and I'll just click on OK so if you actually see, uh, if you actually look at the uh, loads and the restraints, you can see the different restraints and uh, the surface slider options which you have already applied. So once you're done with uh, all these four options here, what you can do next is uh, go for the computation. So ju just go over here on the computation and uh, click on OK and wait uh, because it's going to take some time because it's a mixture machine execution and everything is happening here and just go ahead continue alright now the next thing what you need to do is uh, uh, I'm going to show you the next thing whatever you have to do in the next tutorial so before that you can uh, you know try applying the one mices because in the one mices once you apply the one mices uh, you can see the different uh, the uh, the stress uh, distribution and everything in this so if you switch back to the material shaded mode you can see that uh, this is how the you know the output is going to be if the material was iron and the uh, 500 newtons of force was applied on this particular part here so uh, there is a, a small part to be explained that is the animation which is which I'm going to explain in my next tutorial so I hope you enjoyed my tutorial and I hope this uh, small analysis tutorial is going to help you in your uh, small small projects uh, which you have in the KTV5 so I hope you enjoyed and uh, soon I'm going to create some tutorials uh, based on uh, the ANSYS uh, which is much more uh, developed in the case of uh, the analysis uh, to, uh, analysis alright and thank you so much and uh, if you have any doubts clarifications please feel free to comment on my video and you can always write to me at catia.pro.user at gmail.com catia.pro.user at gmail.com and I'll be getting back to you as soon as possible uh, thank you so much and let me know if you uh, need any assistance in your projects or any uh, CAD related queries you have thank you